Today's Five Things You Need to Know is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. I'm Rob Quirk. Police investigating a shooting late Tuesday night at the McDonald's in the Springs in the 2500 block of Wasatch. At least one person injured, sent to the hospital. No word on their condition. We'll bring you new details as we get them. News partners in Denver reporting Congressman Doug Lamborn's Deputy Chief of Staff, military legislative assistant in Washington, have tested positive for COVID. They also quote sources who say Lamborn back in the Springs attending fundraisers, refusing to test himself. Safeway and Albertsons Pharmacies now offering at-home tests for COVID. After filling out a short online questionnaire, you'll be notified when the kit's ready for pickup or to be delivered. Anyone with symptoms, don't go to the store. Send another person for pickup or delivery. Pueblo Mayor Nick Grandis are optimistic for the future as the city works to finalize its 2021 budget. The mayor says there are no layoffs in the first draft. He's asking each department to cut 10% of their operating costs. The city also anticipates spending about $7 million from its reserves to try and balance that budget. Time for a weather check. Here's Mike Daniels. Thank you, Rob. It's going to be hot and dry around here on Wednesday, all due to this big ridge of high pressure. It's going to be very dry all across the state of Colorado, and I think it'll get smoky around here by afternoon. Just a light haze tomorrow morning as you're out the door, but watch this smoke plume gradually push from uh, east to west right across the I-25 corridor late afternoon into the evening. If you've got respiratory problems, it would be a good idea to stay indoors late tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening with those windows closed. Here's how dry it's going to be. Relative humidity in the single digits at noon tomorrow as we work through the afternoon. Really no change. That uh, relative humidity is going to be really dry. We won't meet the official parameters for a, for a, a red flag warning just because we won't have a whole lot of wind, but make no mistake, it's going to be very dry all across the area. Please stay away from anything that could spark a fire. Thank you for listening to today's five things you need to know. Sponsored by Power Credit Union.